or is a three hour session where we are straight going directly into the process it's a nice process uh, process i believe because uh, it's diwali time and this the whole thing is very auspicious the frequencies the energy is the consciousness everything is very conducive if you take the opportunity to just align there is nothing much to do as i say spirituality is very simple we complicate it and receptive that's all it's all about receptivity so you if you see all the festivals all all these opportunities that we can see so much of uh, festivities is there in india but somehow it has got lost that i need not tell how it has got lost and all that it is not about firecrackers or no firecrackers all those controversies we are not into that i'm not talking even about that i am just telling about how the spirit of every festival has just deviated in a great degree sometimes even 180 degrees completely opposite has gone what it was supposed to be and what uh, what the meaning and meaningless rituals and customs and people's fancies whatever they do so i believe after awakening in spirituality we must be fully aware of this otherwise it's no use if we can't see this then what uses our awakened consciousness and if you see it then you can choose to align back to the real depth of spirituality and then it becomes easy you don't have to be necessarily doing what people are doing as i told you that sort mentality even 98% of the population might be doing something but not necessary if 98% is doing is right doesn't mean that if the mass is doing it is all good and right how can you know whether it is good or right awaken your viveka that's all you'll see it and the moment you see it you will simply your inner courage will refuse to just go by anything anything that is see you will question everything and only if it is meaningful you will do it otherwise you don't do it so whatever is meaningful becomes a part of your life whatever is not meaningful we leave your life that's all so all that will be left is that which is for your highest good this is how you need to filter for filtering you need viveka and you need courage and i believe courage will come with your activated viveka that's all so all that you need to do is not even build up courage and all that viveka jagrit karo vivek jagrit karo if that is there then you can see question everything question first begin from our life only my belief systems my theories that are there in my mind and my faiths my philosophies my concepts the way i live and why i do whatever i do all these things should be clear you should never be in a state at least the practitioners of awareness should never be in a state where you are doing something without awareness and you are doing something out of some compulsion compulsion from outside from people places custom tradition culture i'm not telling celebrate or not celebrate what i'm telling it let there be lights let there be fire crack let there be dresses let there be sweets let there be visits and let there be everything let there be even wine also who selling but if it is devoid of your inner celebration then it's useless if your inner being is not activated if you are not full of consciousness if you are not brimming in consciousness and then you do any of these activities you will remain khokla you will remain empty because that that festive season is itself a subconscious indication that i am trying to uh, you know bring uh, life into my life like the happy birthday syndrome or any kind of such syndrome because happy birthday is when i get attention whole life 365 days 364 days nobody cares so 365th day i wait for attention crazy attention why because 364 days i am null i am empty i have nobody to gratify me i have nobody to um, assure me i have nobody to support me i have nobody to love me so i need so that one day's attention is life for me this is unconscious pattern same way not just for day, any festivals that you see outside where your heart is throbbing if you are the rest of the days down and one day 
or that one moment is bringing you excitement then some there is something is wrong you got to recheck on that because life has to be 24 by 7 you got to be in a spirit those who celebrate their birthday every day don't need a special day to celebrate their birthday those who celebrate christmas every day the coming in of jesus christ christ consciousness raising in them every day they don't need a christmas those whose hearts are full of light divine love and light all the time blossoming from within and fire crackers are bursting within they don't need a special diwali or any kind of such opportunity to give them that external intoxication so i i'm not here sitting trying to preach against any festivals no not me whether you do it or not that is all secondary what i'm telling is the inner festivity that should not lack so tomorrow we are focusing on that it's all about what is diwali about diwali is all um, um, we say basically it started with uh, lord krishna killing narakasura and the celebration that happened narakasura narakasura the hell so it's like heaven winning over hell and that was celebrated even after lord ram's return after the 14 years of exile one was ke baad after he finished uh, ravana and he returned back that was to celebrate his glory his victory over evil who is evil ravana so when ayodhya welcomed him the whole palace was waiting for him. after 14 years their prince their king is coming back with victory and when ram came the row of lights were lit that row of light is called avali row of light deepa avali deepavali that is a row of lights so the rows of lights were lit for him in welcome and that was the sign and symbol of Uh, festivity and celebration of the godliness over evil or light over darkness wisdom or ignorance this is how you can translate it and what is ramayan it is not about a warrior going somewhere deep down and crossing and moving into an island and killing somebody and coming back it's more more deep ramayan is very deep see we have done yoga vashishta Ten days, very deep, and we meditated on the teachings of Lord Rama. And what practices Rama does, we started with those practices. And there is nothing else to do. If you know that process of Om, that's the final thing to do. That is the final uh, goal of killing the body consciousness. That is the I, the ignorance, a vidya that I am this body, I am this personality. and i can't remember that i am pure consciousness and the pure soul so when i don't remember that i need divinity in my life or reminders in my life to again and again tell me that i am divine i am pure consciousness i am god myself so when i repeatedly do that i win over the ego consciousness who is this i winning i is the ram consciousness within the atman wins over whom the ego consciousness ravana with the 10 heads 10 vikaras so drama and is very deep drama and is very very deep it is beyond your scriptural studies it is beyond your little book of knowledge of just ram and his wife and his brother and the story of how they went and conquered ravana and then you celebrate it it is much more than that ram is consciousness i have told this multi- multiple time sita is the mind lakshmana is awareness ravana is the ego ego steals the mind ego always ki- kidnaps captures our mind ego is ignorance ignorance always invades and captures the mind and seizes it and keeps it in its captivity from the consciousness wins it back simple wins back 
the mind see it's so deep you look at ramayan is very very deep until we are finished with the fascination with the stories and characters then only we can look deep beyond you take out any script you see so much of depth in it any script any ramayan party just open like this and start reading it the people who have done awareness practices and those who understand now through your viveka you will read through the lines immediately there will be a, this you need not even study the whole thing i have not read the whole ram but wherever i open chapters clear it is very very crystal clear it's talking all about our life we discuss this how ram is nothing but us representative that's all so if you understand ramayana that means you have understood life or if you understand your inner life you have understood ramayana if you know about your consciousness who you are who am i really i know the ram conscious i know rama then personally if i get into that mode otherwise i do not know anything i just have only bookish wisdom of what rama is see how uh, ravana comes he tricks sita he tricks the mind ego tricks the mind and kidnaps it but before the kidnap lakshmana the awareness i drawn drawn the lakshman rekha not to cross it that is your awareness do not leave awareness bodh you should not leave your jagrukta sajakta if you leave the mind will be caught up in ignorance the moment you are out of awareness you will see immediately you are in ego conscious in the cap activity of ego consciousness you will suddenly feel i am a father i am a mother i am a brother i am a husband i am a wife i am a blah 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 that is ravana captured the mind and now avidya so that goes far from ram mind goes far from ram if you are in ego consciousness you are far from ram the whole battle is about the consciousness the conscious you going to get back the mind away from the clutches of ravana and that's the victory that's the killing of ravana as a killing of ego consciousness the moment ego see ram and the whole story see when did they where, where did they leave they left ayodhya and they return back to ayodhya how the story begins they left ayodhya all journey and then they kill ravana and return back to ayodhya ayodhya is your param that is where you came from and where you will return you cannot return then without killing the ego ravana ram can only return with sita only after the ego is destroyed param dham that is back to the state that is the state from where we all left and where we started the drama the karmic debts began and the whole tumbling the whole game started and game after game janam after janam life after life we have been playing that game and the game will go on every lifetime there is a ravana and there is a sita story happening every life and this happens and so the end of the story is only when the drama ends today i put a post in a funny post in because i saw uh, the photograph of rama arun govil and ravana who played the ramayana television series the moment i looked at it it was very funny so i just posted it बहुत लोगों को समझ भी नहीं आया लगेगा बहुत लोग ऑफेंडेड भी लगे रहेंगे हाउ इज दिस एंड वेन राम एंड रावणा बोथ आर शेकिंग हैंड्स द कैरेक्टर रोल्स प्लेड इट्स वेरी फनी रावण सागर इज इंट्रोड्यूसिंग दम एंड नाइस इज द डायरेक्टर से डायरेक्टर ऑफ द प्ले वॉट इज द प्ले ram and ravan are pretending to be enemies that's the play pretending you can say because both are having parmatman both are shiva both are the brahman 
but when they leave paramdham the whole drama begins then everybody assumes a role karmic debts so that is why i wrote on that post on facebook that if uh, this really happen what happens when your karmic debts are over this is what can happen ram and ravan both were shaking hands so that's very funny and that's very very true i don't know how many caught that message instead of taking it personally और किसी के सर के ऊपर से भी गहरे हो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स वेन यूर कार्मिक डेप्स आर ओवर means karmic debts over means what final play is over this only will happen all these dramas begin only because of karmic debt ramayan also took place because of karmic debt and you know the story oh, i am not wanting to go into that but if the karmic debts are over the prarabdha of that war need not take place simple this is all translation of our life how many ravanas we have in our real life person to person also drama over khatam story khatam you will simply shake hands and move off and that is how life should also happen no grudges with anyone complete needs clean slate that is why we are doing so many reset programs and all that and so many of you are benefiting from that i am so happy because it has to go everything has to go it has to be a clean slate the enough purging and release should happen before sitting claiming that i am a self seeker i told this in last time's retreat also never get that into your head eh hey, ye sab chhota mota jo cheez hai nahi hum self pe meditate karne wale log hai we are people who are contemplating ourselves we don't need anything actually such who claim they have the biggest of problems because they have not completely emptied their pots slate is still not clean so if that is not clean and then you attempt to go into the self it's very difficult it is like without preparing for the war ram just directly going there you you know ram took so much of time he, he had patience and intelligence and viveka to go to sri lanka he did not panic he did not uh, get overjoyed or over confident and rush directly he knew who he is he knew he is narayan he completely knows it so he did not rush there in over confidence now he was very steady he played his life he played all his roles that you all that you can see from ayodhya till down till rameshwaram all the story that happened slowly everything happened every day by day so many incidents and all that what is all that karmic clearance for him to move from ayodhya till rameshwaram also there is a reason his path has a reason why he walked all these ways and why did he travel he could have just gone how much time does it take for him to just reach rameshwaram and get the work done no there were karmic karmic debts he had to finish with each and every person so many stories happened before of that that is all our journey also we cannot directly jump into lanka to kill the ravana please understand this so as much as possible purge you you already have learned those processes you can purge you can release you can let go you can finish wind up things with people and so that it looks such beautiful ram and ravan together shaking hands so the return to ayodhya is this whole episode of what we are talking about the diwali the celebration over darkness and this is the darkness what we are talking about this killing of avidya this ignorance what is avidya simply the strong feeling that i am this body i am this personality i am something i am this spiritual being i am this meditator khatarna it is better having the simple ego of i am a businessman i am a rich man i am a brahmin i am great whatever 
than having something like i'm a spiritual being that's very dangerous so until you develop that viveka power of discrimination it's very risky very very risky it is it will keep sliding down again and again life will give enough tests so diwali everybody is right now i can see all brightened up it is believed that ma lakshmi she roams around on this day on diwali day and she enters the houses that are clean and pure and uh, lit up well lit up right please understand all these things ma lakshmi never go at this tatva greedily jahan dekho dhan 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 lage sab paisa 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 what kind of craze is this? the lust for wealth lakshmi is not the lust for wealth she is abundance there is a big difference between this wealth and abundance wealth is only paisa 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 all the time paisa 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 people wait to do only this dhanteras and this only the money 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 it can be visible in the eyes of people the lust for that money kaha parmatma milega in abhi bhi that gold coins are not out of their retinas there will god shine so it is very foolish if this is happening in spirituality it is not spirituality it will, it will take you somewhere else only it is not at all the goal of all that so you have to be crystal clear when we are talking about self realization mukti and all you should be crystal clear about these things so don't hold on this self realization and mukti as some concept some philosophy ye karne se wo milega ye barter system nahi hai self realization is not a barter system ye karne se kuch milega ye dhanda sab idhar niche from the param dham from the highest the nirguna nirakara uske niche wo sab dhande hote hai you have different deities different gods different realms give and take all that happens ye do lo ye saath do saath lo all this happens but it all depends i am not talking to such a crowd very very clear if i am excuse me because it will not work there is no point simply talking about that that will that might work you give something and you receive that is going on dhanda to chal raha hai full fledged chal raha hai but jab dhanda chal raha hai tab mukti nahi hai that's what i am trying to tell all the business has to shut down all the give and take has to shut down so then you are you are approach towards this beautiful festivals called even diwali will be very pure maa lakshmi is moving around to give money to those who clean their house to those who light up their their house and put uh, diyas on their doors so you think the goddess is so crazy for char diya aapka aapka char acche baatein acche food acha vyavhar ek din ke liye and then white washing the whole house <laughs> this is all good to impress human beings how hamare ghar aao and all this is not for higher tattvas the simple meaning of lakshmi roaming around on this is yes this is an opportunity for brahm to brighten their inner spirit to open the doors of their heart and keep this space within pure clean bright and divine abundance will enter into such a life where there is purity cleanliness divinity that's the meaning of this our inner homes our homes are ourselves our lives and this purity purity what we are talking is nothing but our mana mind so before diwali everybody is white washing cleaning they are they'll remove all that you can see the customs and these customs have a meaning but unfortunate when we forget about it and we get lost in it
it has gone somewhere else only the custom of cleaning up your house dumping out all the unwanted things giving you of things to the poor or discarding things everything can you see the resemblance house is your mind all the kuda karkat ghar ke andar hai bahar make space space is made for abundance and all the inner walls and the outer walls the home is completely whitewashed the mind whitewashed from inside and outside diye lagana brighten up the dullness the tamas in our life that is eradicated by lighting this diya this lamp within our hearts within our minds and only when that is purified shall mahalakshmi enter that's how it is beautiful meanings of what these festivals were for and today what you can see what format has it taken अज्ञानता रावण इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग घुस गया है सबके माइंड में एवरी बडी बिलीव दे आर दी एवरी बडी इज बिजी क्लीनिंग दउसेस बट नो वन लुकिंग विद इन एंड वी प्रिटेंड ऑन दिस डे टू बी डिवाइन विथ डिवाइन क्लोथ्स डिवाइन ज्वेलरी गुड स्वीट्स गुड फूड गेस्ट विजिटर्स and all the dance and festivities and parties everybody is trying to look better but the other saying is who tries to look better the more you can see the more alankar outside happen the more gadbad inside because there it is a subconscious you know quest subconscious quest to clean up i feel dirty you know feeling coming i feel dirty i need to look good why look good so that i feel good can you see the relation you you look dirty and you sit in your house messy you see what the energy is and you clean up yourself you dress up well you brighten up yourself you go out something suddenly mood changes so there is this inbuilt subconscious desire for somebody for every person to look good to feel good so that immediately i feel pure i feel nice that is why that urge to dress up and you will see those who are not very keen on getting things from the outside don't bother about you need the only two reason they might not be festive in a festive mood or celebrating either they have understood this or they are depressed do me say those are depressed will any or not celebrate and the ones who know these things who don't feel obliged to all these things will never fall for all these things they are very very clean and free so it all depends on what angle we are looking so i thought let let's have this preparatory session so that straight tomorrow we are only working on cleaning our house <laughs> and lighting the diya and you know making space for divinity to come please understand diwali is always celebrated as new beginnings that is why people give away the old you, you you know there was the custom in the start now i don't know exactly ki jiske sath bhi ye hai whomever you don't feel good with you know before diwali people actually make attempts to get over with it they go hug each other have warm shake hands or meet each other gile shikwe dur karne ke liye all those processes were there i don't know if it is there but diwali mein ye bhi custom tha we finish it see it's the same thing what i'm talking ram walking all through this path and clearing all his karmic debts that's what i am insisting because without clearing karmic debts we are not going anywhere we cannot jump everything and say that you know i'll sit with my eyes closed and things no it will pull you out again and again it will not allow you to go into samadhi Whoever did this last time? Oh no, we did this in Tirunamalai retreat. 
So where we are only investigating what is not causing us to go inside Samadhi. That's all. The whole retreat was on that. It was not to get somewhere. Because the whole idea was if you become aware of that which prevents you to get into Samadhi and you address that, you will simply get there. Instead of keeping all this aside and then trying to jump there. So that was the concept we had for three days and it was brilliantly good. So becoming aware of these things will help us discard because if we don't have become aware of these things, how will you discard it? Every Diwali, how festive we feel and after it pass, are we not into back to square one? Now my question is, are we preparing this Diwali also for that way? Same way, if we want to repeat something like that. Or can we make it more joyous, more celebrity, more festive and more awakening so that it brings a great transformation. And this is a good time to do that because everything is conducive. Nature is conducive. The whole universe is aligned very beautifully. The alignment of the planetary positions, everything is very good to take use of. There's good vibes around. Very easily you can. So I believe this is an opportunity that we should take to cleanse. And you can start from today itself, right now itself. It's Diwali, the eve of Diwali. Whether you get up a Brahma Murat, whether you sit throughout the night for doing something or doing nothing, or you sit in the midnight and do some meditation, whatever it is, until you have these concepts very clear, that's not going to work. I've seen many greedy people doing this. Night they will sit, early morning they will sit, whole night they will do Jagran. See, mind is full of impurities, full of tamas. What is one night going to do to you then? Or show me one person who has done it night after night, every Diwali and some great transformation has happened. Find out. Do not show me, you only find out. Because the fundamentals is not there. So, the basic foundation of all this should be very, very clear. Diwali should be activated in such a way. Let's try doing it this time. I'm saying try. For me, I'm sure. But I don't know how many of you are willing to do that. So maybe you can try. Try activating Diwali in such a way that you don't need any other Diwali. You don't need another Diwali to wait for another one year to celebrate that. Try activating it in such a way that every day becomes Diwali. You, if you just live a conscious life, that's Diwali every day. If you don't live a conscious life every day, then it's Diwala every day. Every day. Diwali and Diwala. So tomorrow's process, process we it will include, I believe so. I do not know exactly, but what comes to my mind is this. A process of quick inner purging, just like we do on Diwali, and then beautifully light up the inner space. By what? By the same inner light that you are. I am light. But that has been blocked because it's like the suit, like Chidakasha Gita says. You are the lamp, but the lamp has a glass. But the glass has got suit inside. Inner darkness. That is the inner suit which Bhagavan Nityananda says. So he says, however much ever you clean the glass from outside, light is not going to come. Now that is what's happening in today's world. Diwali is the cleaning of outer glass. Par kitna bhi roshni karo, patake phodo, samji karo. But inner suit is not clear. The light will never shine out. So can you see in this analogy, we are not talking about light entering us. Can you see this? Everybody is trying to make the light enter into their homes. But they forget that the light is in their homes only. They are all borrowing artificial lights from outside. And we are all doing that. We are all the time trying to borrow light from outside. 
borrow light from our relationships somebody light my lamp please somebody make me happy so i'm waiting for the light to come from outside come and burn my lamp wealth from outside name from outside everything from outside it's just looking for all things from outside and that is why we are busy only dealing with the outside outside world we are dealing with and our all are outside i can vouch and tell you many houses are there multiple at least 90% of the houses are still not clean from inside houses i'm telling not inner being houses are not lekin bahar pura lighting chaka chand hoga dekh la outside the माला लगी रहेगी कंदिल रहेगा लैंप रहेगा आउटसाइड यू लुक इट ब्यूटीफुल यू एंटर देर इन होम स्टिल इट विल बी थिंकिंग एंड मेनी विल से टाइम नहीं मिला यार इस बार का इस बार ना वी वर आउट समर देर बट आउटसाइड दे विल शाइन आउटसाइड देर इज नो एक्सक्यूजी नो बडी विल टेल वी वर आउटसाइड वी वर बिजी इस तरह तो इस बार ना हमने लाइटिंग नहीं लगा ना आउटसाइड इट इज टू शो ऑफ everything we are doing from outside from inside nobody is bothered even in the houses i'm telling cross house dekh lena you want to reflect on your own life and see how much of cleansing has gone inside really in the house but outside dekhna it will look like a typical diwali house and this is exactly what we are doing this also so chidakash geeta what bhagwan nityananda says clean clean from within and that's what we are going to do precisely to clean it from within but i thought this preparatory will help because if we understand our approach will be different so tonight we can contemplate in a different way be prepared in a different way see what i am trying to tell is don't stop any of the festivity outside because this is not about being a fanatic hey now you know we don't need all these things now i am far away from all these things humko abhi ye sab cheezon ki zarurat it shouldn't matter what i'm trying to tell whether it is there outside or not there outside if it is there you celebrate patake hai fire crackers are there sweets are there guests are coming all those things are there you celebrate and the opposite no pataka no guests are coming nobody is coming nothing is there you celebrate that's what i'm trying to say that is not dependent on anything outside so i am not talking anything about outside i am telling try to give it a go if you still are there like many might say no we are in customs and we got to do it and all that. okay why not do it do it fully why do you have to hide from it why can't we do it fully why not be completely involved in that get into it get into the process but first activate yourself activate the light within yourself and raise your consciousness come to that state where you are feeling blissfully connected within and with that within you go with the out outside and then you celebrate that then you check it i it's not a compulsion i mean if that is needed then you will see some beautiful things happening every time you celebrate it outside but this time is something special special because inner light is activated or if you don't really feel put into that or you don't really mean that then still you are blooming from within so that still will be a meaningful diwali for you thank you for being here we'll meet up tomorrow and those who are not there for tomorrow this also nothing to worry about diwali is there celebrate freak out but go with this attitude you can meditate in the morning you can do this contemplation those who have already done those forgiveness things and all that you can start purging and then those light activities there are so many other webinars you must have done you can do any of those things and all that and uh, benefit the whole idea is that and then go out and freak out that uh, diwali in a very divine spirit So we'll catch up tomorrow then. Thank you so much for coming here. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachchati Purnasya Purnamadaaya Purnameva Vasishyati Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May we all evolve. May we all be free. May we all be blessed. नमस्कार ग्रुप भी हो नमः सी यू देन कैसे तुम्हारा पाई